It's a new season. Yes, it is. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I mean, our stats are pretty good. Psych, they are dog water, and we continue to lose. We're 1-3-0. Utah just seems to be cursed right now. Our team is 7-5-3, which isn't that bad. This is what our team be looking like these days. We have Clayton Keller, who is currently injured, but playing Cooley and Genther who got the actual first goal for the Utah Hockey Club. Our second line is Michelli, Iginla, and Granlund, and I really like this third line. Our defense looks solid. We got Sergachev, Derzy, Kesselring, and Valimaki. Even our bottom two here isn't too bad. Goaltending certainly isn't our strongest point, but I feel like we also don't produce a whole lot of offense, so it's kind of a combination. We are in against the Sea Monsters, so let's see how we fare. Will we have a third period to jump into, or will it be a blowout in one direction? First is 0-0, and... Amazing. Couldn't ask for a better situation. I may or may not have just discovered a way to turn tethering off before we actually get into a game, and maybe it will save it across, you know, the entire thing now. Like, I won't have to do it every time we start up. After you select the jerseys, there's a screen where it says start game, I think edit lines, and then there's also a settings. And in the settings there, controller settings is available, which sometimes it isn't. And those were there, so hopefully that'll do it. Whoa, you just got absolutely dropped by Dylan Genther. Oh, he came for vengeance on Clayton. Score now! That would have been gross. Low save there on Burakovsky. And I think, was it our glove and blocker high that sucked? I think it was. I believe low, we were good for some reason. Like, I'm talking 89-90. And then up high, it was still in the 70s, which is nuts. I'm just trying to reiterate things to myself because repetition, eventually, it will just be there. So if I hold in this stick, I move faster while standing up. If someone's up close and personal, I need to utilize the poke check a little bit more and just try to, you know, time it right. Come on, Michael. You have been the GOAT of this team. An unexpected GOAT, but a very welcomed one because we need it. At this point in time, we don't really have that offensive firepower, it feels like. Thank you for passing that out, Grubauer. You just got plus one respect. Nice save with the oven, man. And then you cover it. Well, there goes the respect. It's gone. Like a fart in the wind. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, get destroyed. As soon as I saw the pass go through, I had essentially accepted that they scored but no we managed to glove it down and i can't lie to you right now we're kind of on one so now that i said that we're gonna get scored on it's just gonna happen Ooh, the tip was huge there it is there it is captain Eberly. Lame. It's alright, boys, because we're going to get one back, right? Another thing that I did note, this guy just do a dump into himself, is that they had 24 shots coming into this period. So, I had my guy, and they're probably around the 30 range now, so I am still sticking to that point. Oh, no, you got to get rid of that. You just got blown up. Big save! The Seattle Sea Monsters playing quite well right now, and they are definitely playing way more physically than we are. 40 seconds left. Am I going to get called to the bench? So far, it's looking like no. All right. Who cares? I don't need to because Granny Smith has got this. I have to watch the replay because I couldn't actually see it. I was looking over at the bench. Beautiful shot. The placement on that probably could not have been any better. Ooh, he almost had it. It just went under the glove. If we can survive the next 35 seconds, then we're going to get a point out of it no matter what, which would be great. And three on three, which, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, but... That was wired. Chandler was clearly fuming that we tied this thing up, and he was trying to take matters into his own hands. We might get one more chance here, Bjorkstrand. Is he going to go for the pass? Yes, he is, but Genther's there. So was I, though. Yeah, there you have it. 31 shots for the Kraken, 24 for the Utah Hockey Club. Oh, I didn't even see that hit. Or maybe I did, and I didn't remember, but... Okay, I guess we are playing physically as well. 
Clearly we are. That's two replays of us destroying them. Clayton, you have a lane, kinda. If you did that on purpose, then you're insane. But I don't think you did, and that deke comes off as completely unnecessary. All right, flying poke check time. Flying poke check time! You already know! The blur thing is so weird. I don't know why it works sometimes and other times it doesn't, but there's your thumbnail. In a majority of them so far, I've had to actually just crop out the goaltender myself and then manually blur the background, which, I mean, isn't that big of a deal. But it'd be nice, you know, if the game could just help me out a little bit. All right, we're locked in right now. That is two pretty much breakaways that we have saved. Almost made me eat my words. Almost did it. He's gassed. He's gassed. I did exactly what I'm not supposed to do there. And thankfully, luck was on our side. Now we have a two on one. Again, Lot, what was that? That was the most worthless shot on a two on one ever. Is it better than not getting a shot? Sure, I'll give you that. But I mean, that's right up there with the worst outcomes that could have happened. Done. Tease it up. Throw that back to you, Sergachev. Oh, I'm going to regret that. Send him. Send him! Or just skate it. That works too. Okay. Unbelievable. This is a very, very intense game. Considering it's like, what, game 15 of the regular season? Last chance. Last chance! No, I don't want to go to a shootout. Everybody gets one. I get one flying poke check. I didn't even get him with the flying poke check, but we take that. Nice. We do get the broadcast view here. I do have to change the camera, which feels wrong. How's that going to work with this now? Is it going to follow the player? No. Okay. So we should be all right. Tolvin in. Nah. Get out of here with that. Again, I like that we're putting him in. Get him some experience. Forehand, backhand. Okay, so that's the same thing. We just tried twice in a row. Might be time for a switch up here. Veneers. If anyone, um, if anyone finds my jock strap, let me know. Thanks. You're not even trying at this point. So we wound up with a 185 and a 942. That is real good. Ooh, we're going in against the LA Kings. That was just one game that they had Connor Ingram play and back to us. They are 31st in the league at the moment, so please just don't let this get ugly. All right, we take that three. I got something to play for here. I also do want to point out, which I don't know why I'm pointing this out, but we have witnessed me give up four goals in the third period before, maybe even five. It might have been something crazy, like we were winning 6-1. And they almost ended up winning. Essentially what I'm getting at here is this game's not over. Alright, sure we're up 3-0. But that could disappear real quick. That's a hit and a half. And he tried to dump it in, but I guess his stick also hit the guy that he just dropped. I don't know if that got through or not. I feel like it did. Nice poke check, Sergachev. I mean, I was ready for the shot. But if I don't have to save it even better it is still very early both in this game and in the season however things do look a lot brighter if you guys have watched my previous be a pros i don't know if it happens in all be a pros but players just end up going everywhere like crosby will end up on the capitals mcdavid will go to columbus my point is i'm not sure if we're gonna get that in this one and i'm not sure if that has something to do with the rosters being what they actually are whereas if you do the CHL or whatever in previous years. I know the rosters were all messed up. So I'm not really sure, okay? We're gonna find out together. Quinton Byfield just got sat down. And to bring it all back to my main point that I was going to get to, is I wonder if at the trade deadline, our GM is gonna go crazy if we're like a bubble team and really try to push us over the edge. Puck movement is on point right now. Let's it sing, but that one is wide of the mark. Balamaki down low. Look at this pass. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, and Ginla even gives him a little bear hug after the goal. Now they're swarming him. That poor guy. Everything about that goal was just 
Chef's kiss. Me personally, I can't wait for Aginla to be 95 overall next year. So, looking forward to that. Into the mitten and passed over to Sergachev. Yeah, he's my boy. I feel like he might have been the guy that tried to nutmeg me, but I feel like he's the one that I trust the most still, even though he did that. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm still getting rid of it. Come on, it's the Sergs. Moore's at it again. He is at it again. This time he went for a pass. Okay, great defending Sergachev. See what I'm talking about? Do you hear me? That one kind of scared me. Wasn't really ready for that to come through, to be honest, but apparently Manny was. They're going to get it again. Battle fives. I mean, no, 5 0. You're not fives. Do we even have a fives on this team? They're still going. I don't like what I'm doing right now. I was just sitting in butterfly and kind of moving, but not too much. We got to get this thing out of here and just reset. Hit the reset button. Thank you. Oh. Oh? Okay. They don't ask how. They ask how many. And Gramland is certainly going to remember that one forever. Into the glove. See, that's how you pass the puck out. Nope, I'm going to eat those words. That's how you pass the puck out. Who's in net for them? Was it... Why do I feel like it was Phoenix Copley? But I also could 100% be making that up. Can we get a shot on net here to get a little fact check? Okay, well, we got a shot on net, but you didn't go to the glove side. Another shave. That one on a slap shot from Quinton Byfield, and we're headed back the other way. 5-0. Holy. Make it 6. You won't do it. No, it's Kemper. I don't know if he was in the whole time, though. I could just be thinking of last game, but this is going to drive me nuts. I got to see who owned gold. Oh, yeah, it was Kemper. He kind of just tossed it and then kicked it in. boy. Ten seconds left. Just get the puck out. Oh, my word. Are you trying to throw? 9-2 could have just saved our life. There we go. Our first career shutout. And we are now, what, 2-3-1? and one? Like, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. Let the sellies out. Here we go. Love to see it. What a complete turnaround from last season. It was a 28 save shutout as well. We had 23 shots and got five goals. Let's go, boys. I don't know why the James thing keeps coming up and he's not actually talking, but I'm here for it. That save percentage is slowly climbing. Toronto not having a good start to the year. They are 8-9-2, 27th in the league. Let's see if we can keep their big guys off the board. I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like we are due for a stinker. First period, it is going to be 3-0. 3-1? Nah, we'll wait for the next one. Third period. 4-1 final. We play them again. Can Ingram get us the win? Yes, he does. Thank you. Got revenge for his goaltender duo. Uh-oh. We're now 11-11-4. Slowly drifting. Tino, you're playing the Minnesota Wild. How important are matchups with divisional opponents? Yeah, I mean, they're pretty important. I can't lie to you. A top seems like such a weird word. Like, it just seems like you had a typo on the word stop. 15-8-2 is this Minnesota team. Not bad. So we could be in one here. Let's simulate and see if it is worth jumping into or if we're just going to skip past it again. 0-0. Zero, zero. It's worth it, all right. Weatherby! Look at this guy go. We've got the purple ability back there on Dursey. It's a good look on you. Excuse me with that hit? Holy smokes, Kirill the Thrill. I didn't know you were capable of doing such a thing. That was nuts. And now they are on the offense. A point shot. That's going to be blocked, I believe, by Sergachev. Back to Faber again. Doesn't get through again. Let me know in the comments how you feel about these Minnesota jerseys. Because I've seen mixed reviews, is what I'll say. Some people think they're pretty cool or they look good on the ice. And other people, not a fan. Tell you what, though. I am a big fan of that there post. Michelli. Gonna... Kind of get muscled off the puck, but he keeps it. Oh, that's interference, no? Did Granlin even touch that before he got laid out? I think I'm going to say no, he didn't, but maybe. I mean, surely he must have, because there's no way that a penalty doesn't get called there 
Yeah, I'm throwing it out. Let's go, Valamaki. I am certainly a fan of the way our team is playing so far. Have we gotten a little bit of luck with the post and with the block shots from the point? Yeah. Well, you know what? No, that wasn't really luck. The post was luck. The block shots, that was just pure grit grinder. That's not going to go. Jesper Wallstedt, solid goaltender. You ain't beating him with that. Kaprizov is just laying people out right now, and I don't get it. Does he do that, and I just don't watch enough wild games to know, or no? Because I strongly feel like he does not do that. But maybe he does. Who knows? I'll let a wild fan tell me if that is the case or not. All right, we need to settle down, reposition. And we don't need to do anything because Logan Cooley is going to be a legend and win like a 3v1 there. This team is definitely in my good graces right now. Just under six minutes to go. Our lead has just been extended to three goals. I like where we're sitting right now. Almost made it four. Marco Rossi. Oh, he does. That's on me. That's on me. I should not have slid. Why did I slide? It's okay. It's okay. We had room for a mistake. We just got to make sure that they don't go getting any funny ideas and try to use this momentum to end up winning this thing. All right, back to the point. That was going to be tipped. Would have been an interesting tip, to say the least. I wonder if that would have even gone anywhere near the net. Boldy. Goes in the middle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I knew where that one was going that time. That one... I wasn't so sure. Oh, dear. Not like this, boys. Come on now. We need to get this thing back under control. We're still up by one. So we still have that going for us. Would have been real nice to go up by two. Come on. Lock in. We got this. No more of this. Uh-oh. They're going to score again. No! They are not going to score again. We are shutting them down because we can. Wasn't scared. Not even for a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Throw it out to you, Dylan Genther. 32 seconds left. Empty net. Yes! Oh, baby. Another W. Oh, yeah. You just celebrated when it went to 3-2. What's wrong, coach? What's wrong, buddy? Things not going to plan there. The first goal was 100% my fault. The second one, not really. I mean, it was just overall a good goal. They were up in the pressure big time, kind of swarming us. It just felt like it was almost bound to happen. But overall, I would say this was a solid performance from our team, from us. 27 shots, two goals, and we only had 23 and put up four. Nice. Oh, yeah. The lads are fired up. Our record is not too bad. We will be in against Tampa Bay next, but I mean, yeah, those stats have improved drastically. Oh no, we are seventh in the division. 13, 13, and five. Yikes. Carolina leads the league right now with 48 points and 24 wins. See, this should not be happening. Granlin should not be leading the team right now for points. 28 points, 31 games, which is good, very good. But where's our first line at? Keller only has 21. Genther 21. Cooley 24. Kesselring's doing quite well. He's a plus 8, has 14 points, and he's 84 overall with the medium top 4 potential. So he's probably going to grow quite a bit. So I feel like now we're kind of giving Ingram not a run for his money. I don't want to say that because, you know, we're working together here. We're partners. But, like, I'm becoming competitive with him. Before, I was like, he's the clear starter, and we are a backup that shouldn't even be a backup. Not so much anymore. He's 10, 9, and 4 with a 905 and just under a 3 GAA. We're 3, 4, and 1 with a shutout. Love to see it. Mr. Anderson leads the league. 19 wins. 926 save percentage as well. Bobrovsky is a 931. Hello? Evan Bouchard is going insane right now. 47 points in 32 games, a plus 24. He's 91 overall. There's a 13 point gap between him and the next, well, two. Roman Yossi was pretty much doing that last year, not so much this year. And to be expected, McDavid leading the league with 54 points. He is a plus 9, 28 goals. Nate Mack, Nate Dog, 47 points, 29 goals. Bedsy right up there. That was the first episode where I don't think we had one brutal game. Will we make the playoffs this year? 
That's yet to be decided. I'm sort of feeling like we're not there yet, but we are certainly trending in that direction. I definitely want to stay a member of the Utah Hockey Club for several years, and then we can start to suitcase ourselves a bit, which this seems to only offer one-year deals, and I am all for that. That's amazing, because it gives you the option. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon.